So when you look at the individual on the left, now, again, it's going to be easier to see if we had seen me set up in a video is a lot of people will get their shoulders in position and then they cross over and move the leg where the individual on the right set his lower body and then he moves the upper body. Doesn't look much different, but yet it is. So where we need rotation is the thoracic spine. So the individual on the left, he kind of put his upper body in a position and he's trying to get motion from his lumbar spine. Doesn't mean it won't feel good. Doesn't mean he might not be tight because of course you're going to address the piriformis in there slightly. It's not a direct targeted piriformis stretch, but you're not truly getting the thoracic rotation you need. So when you look at the individual on the right, he's got himself in a nice position. He even uses a foam roller to kind of keep his hips level. And if his leg comes off that foam roller, he knows he's now compensating. He's ran out of motion in the thoracic spine. So the leg is going to try to go with you so the, the thoracic spine can move to another level. So that's where just small little differences is what are we trying to target and what's actually happening in the exercise. So for me, because I'm not trying to get rotation out of the lumbar spine, and if I'm going to target the piriformis, I would do that stretch a little differently to make sure I get the piriformis. I'm going to do the open book versions that you see with our individual here on the right. Yeah. And oftentimes, because it's really hard sometimes for the clients to understand that, or they're like, oh, I do this in the morning because they feel like they need to quote, pop their lower back and they just throw a leg over and then they wait to hear that noise that, and then there's just like their free adjustment for the morning. And, you know, so be it if that's the whole purpose. But, but when you are doing an open book, the whole purpose is to try to, as Marty said, really get um, some mobility going in the, in the thoracic spine. So too often one or two that I often do with my clients is literally just put the foam roller in between the shoulder blades. Um, and just like they're going to, you know, foam roll the, the thoracic spine. And then I just have them do some flexion and extension, trying to get some mobility that way. 